Hi, I'm Mackenzie. And I'm Lindsay. Welcome to The Transcript. This week, The Transcript investigates what's being done to address sexual harassment protests at JFK Middle School, works on the swing with the Northampton High golf team, On Sunday, residents of Catalonia headed to the ballot box to vote in a referendum on the region's independence from Spain. The Spanish government banned the vote, sending in national police to confiscate ballot papers and shut down polling stations. Around 844 people were reportedly injured. On Monday, a spokesperson for the regional government of Catalonia announced that 90% of the 2.26 million votes were cast in favor of independence. On Sunday, at least 58 people were killed and more than 500 left injured in a mass shooting at a country music festival in Las Vegas. It is now the deadliest mass shooting in U.S. history. The gunman committed suicide upon police contact. The gunman's motives have not yet been determined, although the FBI have ruled out connections with international terrorist groups. On September 20th, Hurricane Maria hit Puerto Rico. As of Tuesday, almost two weeks after the storm, The millions of American citizens were still without electricity, cell service, or clean water. Current counts of storm-related deaths stand at 34. On Tuesday, President Trump traveled to the island after facing criticism for the slow federal response to the disaster. Officials say that many more deaths may still occur due to lack of food, water, and the potential for disease. Hi, I'm Flor Castillo. And I'm Ota Venez. Welcome back to Tell It Like It Is. This week, Odette and I team up to cover the issue of sexual harassment in schools. On September 20th, 2017, Westfield State University faced an issue of students writing racist and sexually demeaning comments on the dorms of black female students. As a result, the next day, Westfield students held a walkout in protest of the lack of discipline and awareness when an issue of race and sexual harassment is brought to the school's attention. This has just been the most recent event around the Valley that has brought awareness to how sexual harassment can affect students' life and learning. Back in June of 2017, students held a walkout to protest the sexual harassment within John F. Kennedy Middle School here in Northampton. Adeline Green, NHS freshman and member of the Feminist Collective at NHS, helped organize the walkout at JFK last spring. So um, a bunch of kids were um, sexually harassing girls at the school and the administration told the girls that like boys will be boys and they were saying like you just have to deal with it or if the girls were feeling uncomfortable they said well you can move to a different classroom they weren't moving the boys out of the classrooms in response to the walkout superintendent john provost issued his three-point plan to address issues of sexual harassment in the northampton public schools we ended up working with the students and some of the parents of students at the school, the administrators, and some experts in the area of sexual harassment to come up with a three-point plan for addressing the problem. The first part of that was an administrative piece, which involved helping students be aware of the protocols that are in in place for their safety, uh, specifically around the issue of sexual harassment. The second part was to implement a Um, leadership training program, basically bystander training, to help students have language and skills for interrupting sexual harassment if they saw it. And the third piece is a revision of the health curriculum to involve um, some information about sexual harassment in the sixth grade. The um, topics had been covered in our seventh and eighth grade health curriculum, but we felt that um, given that this was a middle school issue, sixth graders are part of the middle school, that we wanted to get some information about healthy relationships to them as soon as they got into the sixth grade. When Adeline moved on to Northampton High School, she started Students Against Sexual Harassment, an organization that helps spread an awareness to Northampton residents and administration about the sexual harassment within the school system. SASH is an organization a bunch of eighth graders from JFK started over the summer. Um, where we were protesting and educating people about sexual harassment and it stands for Students Against Sexual Harassment. So we're trying to raise awareness about sexual harassment and protest it and educate people. 
What are your thoughts on this issue? Do you believe our school system has a sexual harassment problem? How do we as a school community tackle these issues? Let us know. I'm Odette Venice. And I'm Flor Castillo. We'll see you next week on Tell It Like It Is. Hi, I'm Gabe Nicotera. Welcome to Hamped Up Golf Edition. Y'all ready for this? Golf. A great way to get exercise is one of Northampton High School's fall sports played by Northampton High School in the fall. This week, I sat down with Aiden Chapdelaine, a senior on the golf team, and junior Asa Geller regarding this year's golf season. So Aiden, last year, a few of the seniors on the golf team said that they would expect you to fulfill a leadership role on the team for this season. Do you think you've done that? Not just me, but along with Brad Moreau, definitely our other senior, all the other returning players, we've all stepped it up. You know, we've all started playing better, pushing each other to play better. So we have a better record this year than last year. So Asa, there are a lot of different aspects to golf, such as putting, driving, and of course finding your ball. So what are the team's greatest strengths and weaknesses? Um, I'd say our greatest strengths are probably just drives. Yeah, yeah I'd say weakness-wise, oh probably putts. <laughs> putts. Yeah, short game is definitely where we can improve. To increase my experience with golf, I asked Jack Denhart, a senior on the golf team, to instruct me in bettering my swing. I'm here with Jack Denhart, member of the golf team, Varsity, and uh, can you just give me yeah, some, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> so I can describe golf a little bit. So I would say it's about 90% physical, and the rest, just don't, worry, don't really worry about that. I'm not really sure what the rest is, but. So can you teach me basically how to? Yeah, so basically you just stand wherever you want. Um, your front foot should be, I'm not really sure, probably there is good. Uh, so take your hands, here, I can come around and show you. So just take your hands like this, slowly, slowly, stop up here, perfect, then slowly come through. That was uh, terrible, but you can try it yourself. Okay. It's perfect. Thanks so much for being on Hamped Up. No problem. A special thanks goes out to the golf team for letting me practice with them. I'd also like to give a personal shout out to the boys soccer team for winning their first game last week. They're now 1-7. Their next home game is Wednesday the 11th. The home games for all sports next week are as followed. Girls soccer is Wednesday at 6 p.m. and field hockey is on Thursday at 4. Thanks for watching Hamped Up. I'm Gabe Nicotera. My name is Alexander uh, and I'm an artist. I'm here at Northampton High because I'm uh, sharing a series of called the hashtag the snap gallery it's two stands they hold up a three foot by four foot long clear sheet of acrylic panel and what students do is they take snapchats in this case about exploring new realities because that's the theme of this version of the series um, and they print out these snapchats what they then do is that we put we affix the photos to the clear plastic panels um, using magnets, and we affix the photo behind the panels. People then draw on the panels, almost as if it were a Snapchat in real life. And then we flip around the paper once that, image, once that drawing is done so that it's only the white. And that way it almost turns their, the image that they created by superimposing this drawing on top of their Snapchat it turns that drawing into a work of art in and of itself. I think at a certain point I was communicating with Snapchat a lot with my friends and all of a sudden I realized, you know, these are, I, spe I started spending inordinate amounts of times, time working on these Snapchats. I mean, talking about 30 minutes working on my Snapchat drawing. And I said, and, and I started thinking about it and saying, you know, this is, this is what I want to be doing more than painting right now. Um, and that kind of led me to this concept of hopefully getting other people to have that similar realization that uh, Snapchat or any other form of communication or digital media can really be a completely valid and empowering form of um, human expression. And more so than that is that it is a more democratic way of human expression. Uh, if you look at portraiture, um, every, I mean, self selfies are self-portraits and that has traditionally been, been a realm for uh, the elite, right? You only saw pharaohs, you only saw kings, you only saw dukes, duchesses, whatever it is, take these, or have these portraits done of themselves. I think that now the really exciting thing is that um, it's not just the rich and wealth, you know, and the elite who, can, who have this ability to control their own image, 
and to express themselves in the way that they want. Thanks for watching. Mackenzie and I are from Pioneer Valley Community Outreach Association, based out of Northampton High's Social Entrepreneurship class. This semester, we are trying to raise awareness about domestic abuse. If you are interested in acting in a virtual reality interactive short film made by PVCOA, please come to auditions next week on Tuesday and Wednesday in the Black Box. If you would like to know more information, follow our Instagram at PVCOA or check out our Facebook page. And make sure to head over to nhstechnology.org to watch previous episodes and online extras.